Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. This is Tactical Expedition and today I want to show you uh, two STI uh, firearms, 2011. This is the older version and this is the newer one, but both are discontinued at this point because STI pumps out new great guns every year or every month. So um, mine is a Tactical 5.0 and uh, my buddy's is Staccato P. Obviously STI changed their casing. So mine came with like waterproof case. There's no zipper on the outside. This is more like a fabric backpack feel. And it has a, a zipper outside. So you can store your receipts or uh, manuals. Mine, you have to, so first, <clears throat> this is Tactical 5.0. This is the older version. Um, and they discontinued the Tactical 5. And they only made Tactical 4 and then they completely dis continue the tactical line series so when you open it up so the way so you have a zipper here for documentation so this case is I believe it's like waterproof or water resistance so that's that and uh, when I bought it um, it came with the two magazines so this one you open it up oh and also to mention um, to reuse their bags um, they got this uh, uh, patch type the name. So my buddies is a Staccato P 5 inch. I think they, STI, uh, discontinued it. So uh, when you open it up, you have uh, elastic uh, magazine holders. There's a little buffer, a little cushion. Then he, his came with the uh, one 21 round magazine. Um, this is the older one, mine. Look, the wear and tear. So both are same though, uh, Gen 2. And his came with the magazine holder up here, but mine came here, so I can just attach it anywhere. Then uh, the holster type is different because I like mine on this one. So you just unstrap it and take it out. And this is unloaded. Okay. And so you can, it's like a holster type. So you put it in and you just sling it. This one, it's a Velcro system. It's a little bit harder. Um, two Velcros. So this is empty also. So both are five inch guns. Take up, but mine came with a uh, 17 round or 18 round magazines. I only put 17 in here, but so just to show you guys, 17. It has a complete flush look. Um, 21 round magazine. It has that kind of a feel. But if you use the stainless steel um, 21 round magazine, it'll stick out and then it'll look like there's something there. So I suggest if you're gonna get the longer magazine, uh, get the black one, even though there's a wear and tear. So if you look at it, the difference, this is the Tactical 5, the grip, is upgraded with the magwell. This is a DVC tactical um, grip that has a two undercuts. It's a great f feeling uh, grip. Also, it has a texture. Then this is the DVC tactical uh, magwell. It's more flared out. And the uh, rail comes up all the way to the front. Again, it's empty. So bull barrel. Oh, and also upgraded the fiber optics. So total cost, I think it was about 23, including all the options. This, this is 200, this is 100. The, the sites were about 100. So those are the upgrades, I guess. So this is Staccato P, five inch. A um, little bit shorter rail. And I'll, I'll show you why it's a little bit shorter. Same double undercuts. This is called wood bark uh, grip. It's a DVC wood bark or something like that. This is a DVC tactical light or the, the one lower version. So it's not as crazy looking as mine. So some people like that, some people like that. I think same amount of uh, grip on this stipple. Okay. And uh, this gun came with the 
bigger um, fiber optic front sight. I don't know if you can see. So mine looks like that and his looks like that. So a um, little bit bigger, bigger dot, okay? Okay, both are on, uh, I'm not loaded. So see, bigger red dot. So some people like that and some people like the finer uh, dot so you, you can make a precision shot. I'll just uh, name the differences, okay? So mine has a full rail and his has maybe a half inch back. This um, side release is a little bit longer and sharper than mine. Same trigger, same grip, basically. Um, these are fake screws anyway. Um, these are same. Um, the hammer is same. Okay. Um, these are all same. But this has a lot lighter than that. I don't know, maybe it's a wear and tear. Or maybe mine is set at lower point, but... The different uh, magwell, that's the look. This side, um, okay. Obviously the front and rear side is different because mine is a aftermarket from uh, uh, Dawson Precision. It's a high knee sight. And this one came with the STI. He has a blacked out uh, barrel. Mine doesn't. And the engraving on Staccato P and the US flag and his serial number, it's much uh, finer than mine. Mine looks like they used a tool, like a stamping tool to engrave it, okay? It's more uh, rough design, even 2011. But his is more uh, like a laser etched, real fine print um, with the US flag, that's awesome. Um, the mag release button, his is a hex screw, mine is a flat. Um, and also, I noticed, I don't know why mine has a flat one and his is a round one, but I like the flat one better. Um, and the front, if you can see it or not, but mine is flushed and it's indented inside. His has like the, I don't know, that can be a little better because this has the actual like flush design. But another difference, because mine's a cheaper gun, I have to use a, a paper clip or those uh, retention pin to secure it when I take this apart. So field strip, I cannot do. This one, it came with the toolless um, guide rod. Thing. So once you press this and release this, so it gets hot. So you can take this um, slide release level lever off and just take the gun apart. And then when you push it to the back, it just um, comes back. So it's much easier to clean. The, the reason I cannot upgrade to that type is because I cannot reach in because of the rail. So uh, either way, I thought about upgrading, but... Um, that's that, okay? Uh, again, I don't like this font, you know. Mm. And this is a wear and tear. I use this uh, on duty for my work and there's a lot of uh, wear and tear um, here, here. And also this is the cheapest STI, so the finish is not too great. But I guess lucky for me, I like this worn out look <laughs> like this. Um, I just like that kind of a look. Um, this one has a much better finish, smoother. Hopefully it doesn't get those uh, wear and tear on these black barrel. Um, but it's nice, it's very smooth, very smooth. It's a lot tighter spring, I think, because mine is worn out and this is like almost new. Mine is very loose, but it's very smooth. Because I shot over, I don't know, 10, 20,000 rounds through it so eventually I have to upgrade the parts right or not upgrade but do the maintenance on these guns um, so yeah that's that and uh, I'm not gonna show you 
uh, the range videos because um, I'm not gonna shoot his gun, okay? Now, one thing, if you just look at it like this, um, because of this cut right here, the gun looks a little bit smaller or shorter than mine, right? Because mine looks fucking long. But I think his design's better only because um, you can access this and uh, take this gun apart right away. I mean, that's crucial, right? Once gun fails, you gotta fix it. Um, Magwell is great. Uh, my Magwell, it's like that. And also, so this is new, obviously his. This is mine. Uh, he said his is a newer version and mine is an uh, older version. So I noticed um, uh, both are Picatinny rail. I uh, noticed this has more of a, a flood look and mine has a focus beam. Do you see that? And then it's brighter because it's focused. See, he, his flashlight can overpower, but mine overpowers his. But only on the focus beam. Might be better because you can see overall. 300UA. Okay, so I'll show you how it looks on mine. And luckily for the 2011 users, it flushes exactly. So it looks real badass. You know, and he said mine's uh, trigger pressure is set at um, three, three and a half. First, it was set at two, and it was too light. So, uh, armor um, gunsmith uh, made an adjustment to 3.5. Um, and uh, his is uh, really um, tight, so I'll just use mine. But oh, his rail is tight. So, um, again, I'll just put that in. Okay, so again, flush look. And his, he says it's set at uh, 4.5, so a lot more pull. See, a lot more pull. Okay, so it's smooth. So let me see. This is the look. You know, you, you, you guys just make the call, which one like looks better. I like this look. It just comes with more and it's cheaper than all with, with all the upgrades. Um, without upgrading mine, like the grips and stuff, it was ugly. But now it's pretty good. And when you shoot it, I'm sure there's a difference because mine's cheaper gun. So, um, but STI is STI. 2011s are all good. So okay. And the reason why I haven't uploaded the gun videos recently is because um, every time I upload the gun videos. YouTube um, puts a um, yellow sticker, so I can't earn any money. So, you know, I'm spending about two to three hours filming, editing, uh, which is short for YouTuber, but I have to invest uh, three, four hours of my own time to create this. And imagine you don't get any reward. <laughs> so then that's the reason I've been just focusing on the review videos or the Forerunner videos. Um, but you know, I, I love guns, you know, so um, I will post more videos of guns and uh, maybe uh, I'll do an update videos of the rifles or new guns that I bought since then. Um, anyways, uh, thank you for viewing my videos and uh, hopefully I post more, more often. Thank you and take care.